City forecasts uh, predict that the population here in Linwood is going to double by the year 2035. So a lot of the construction that you're seeing right now, the light rail, all the apartments, condominiums that are going up, and here on 196th Street, 6th Street Southwest, is all setting the city up for that growth. So right now, about 35,000 cars can drive on 196th Street a day. Post construction, that will allow for another 5 to 10,000 cars a day. That's about a 25% increase. Now. Part of the original goal when construction started two years ago was to widen the roads and put in a median to force drivers to make those U-turns at the light. I spoke to Linwood City Engineer this week. He says this area was prone to accidents, drivers darting out of businesses, trying to make a left turn, and they've seen similar grids in Shoreline down in SeaTac actually reduce the number of crashes. He says he understands construction can be frustrating, but it's necessary for Linwood to be able to accommodate more people using its resources. It's being changed from that commercial to what they call mixed use. And now we'll have more apartments and eventually condominiums and that type of thing. So it's people living here, working here, and playing here. Now, also part of the project includes environmental upgrades to stormwater and retention quality, increasing sidewalk space, and some aesthetics as well, like moving all those power lines underground. And now that we're in the home stretch, people here are going to start seeing some planting, final paving this summer. And I'm told the project is on schedule to be completed by this fall. But a little bit of bad news a, a big project was just funded to build a bridge over I 5, just a little east of where we are now. That's going to be starting. In in about a year. For now, reporting live here in Linwood, Angela Cockaday, King 5 News. I know before construction is finished and it's getting better, there's a lot of pain and a lot of businesses probably impacted by this huge project. Have you talked to any of the owners of these businesses? How are they coping with all this? Yeah, Mimi, I did talk to several businesses here, managers, owners, and while they didn't say if this construction here is hurting their bottom line, of course, they say it's frustrating, but they also compliment the construction workers, saying they're, they're doing the best that they can, working as fast as they can. The city also tells me they're working with businesses throughout this project. Anytime there's an issue that comes up, they're working together to try to solve it. It's also worth noting that part of this construction includes improving the driveways into all of these uh, businesses here. So the hope is, is that it's, it looks nicer, easier for people to get in and out of businesses and safer.